Hello, my name is Aza Raskin. I'm head of user experience at Mozilla Labs, and I'd like to show you a possible direction for Firefox on mobile. So the basic idea is that you're an infinite 2D plane. This is the main screen. You have your bookmarks and a big plus button that opens a new tab. When I click it, it zooms out for context and zooms in then a new tab. I'm going to use some demo magic to call up a page, as if I typed in humanize.com. You'll see that as I start to scroll, the URL bar goes off the top of the screen and that I have kinetic scrolling, just like on the iPhone. Now it's important to note here that while I have a mouse and cursor here for the demo, on the real thing, this would of course all be touchscreen. Not multi-touch, single touch. Um, so let's get to the first really new thing here. Down at the bottom of every page, you have a whole bunch of actions. Um, these are things like dig this page, delicious this page, map an address that appears in a microformat on this page. All the things you'd normally want to do, but are difficult to do on mobile because it's difficult to type, right? Trying to type on mobile is trying to like trying to remove a contact lens with a cotton ball. It's just not fun. So these things would be extensible, possibly from content space. Who knows? I think it's a it's a neat thing to explore. So the next question is of course, how do I get out of the page? Well, if I start to pan in any direction, up, down, left, right, you start to see this little white thing that says zoom, zoom out. I go to that line, zoom out under lines, and I release and I zoom out of the page. Now as I said that works if you are go in any direction so you just take the page, throw it, and you zoom out. It's a, actually it's a lot of fun and really fast and easy. It's a great gesture that's self-learnable. Um, so let's see, so I'm gonna move these pages over. You'll notice that as I do this the the whole canvas sort of zooms out a little bit to accommodate it. I'm gonna hit plus again, a new tab opens up. Um, I'm gonna call up slash dot. So you might be wondering now, where are all the controls, like forward and back, the things that you always have in, in a browser? Well, one of the great things about this particular setup is that the entire area here is for content. Every single pixel on the screen is showing what's most important, that's content. How do I get to the controls? Well, I just call the page over a little bit, just pull it over. Notice if I go a long way, get out to zoom out, don't want that, just a little way, and I get to the controls. So the way I call that up is I just throw the page just gently and it comes up, throw it back. Throw it up, here it is. Um, so it's again really easy, it's a big target. Um, so you have back, forward, bookmark, page info, that's things like page identity, um, are you talking to who you think you are, and, and you know, your password, password manager, that kind of stuff. You also notice that when I do this the URL bar comes up. Um, now let's say I've entered something in here like treadmill kittens, then this is just like the awesome bar in Firefox 3, so a whole bunch of results pop up from your history, and these are ordered by frequency and recency. Um, uh, one of the cool things is that I don't even have to type anything into this box to get this list, right? Uh, because we're minimizing typing, you put your cursor up there, and immediately you get a set of results. Now, you're often doing quick lookups on mobile, so uh, as soon as you've typed something in, you can hit this Google button, Yahoo, define a word, map something, search your email. These are just schematic, but they show you uh, that it's really easy to perform a simple action, a simple lookup action, uh, using Firefox on the mobile mobile world. Um, so that's that's most of this here. So I'm just going to throw the page, which zooms out. Now one of the other cool things here, um, I'm going to hit plus again, is that the, the browser just automatically knows where to insert new tabs. It finds open things. I'm going to call up Toolness here. Let's zoom out uh, and open one other thing. So here we go. Oops. Uh, get Reddit. So there we go. It's nice. Zoom out. Um, is that because this is just a 2D plane, you can arrange your documents exactly as you'd like. So let's put bookmarks over here. Let's put humanized and Reddit close to each other. Oh, not Reddit, pardon. Uh, toolness close to each other. Um, it's related. Uh, so there we go. Um, so you can organize your documents as you like. So what this means is that, say, you're doing a search for... Uh, things to do tonight, what concert to go to. Well, you can organize all of your tabs in one spot there. You can also have all of your mail over here. Uh, it's actually something I think would work very well on the desktop, but I think in the restricted set of mobile it's going to work great. Um, so that's the basic idea. It's a, just a zoomable space where it uses pan to solve all the problems with screen real estate and controls. Now, I should point out this isn't necessarily the exact way we're going to go with mobile. It might look entirely different. I just think this is a really exciting thing to explore, so I'd love your opinions. Thanks for watching.